isn't it wondering the way you can supercharge your Ubuntu experience with faster software downloads? Well, you are in the right place. In today's tutorial, we are diving deep into the repository mirror in Ubuntu. But have you ever asked yourself, what is a repository mirror and why does it matter? Stick around, as we will not only answer that, but also guide you through the entire process step by step. So, let's get started and to check the description for comments and links. Imagine you have a big box of softwares. The Ubuntu mirror is like having the same box of software in different places all over the world. So when you need software for your computer, you can get it from the closest box as soon as possible. There are several necessities of mirror repository. For instance, Geographical spread mirrors speed up software downloads by having the same software repository in various locations globally. This allows users to access software from a repository near their location. Balance of loads When there is a high demand for software from the main repository, mirrors can provide an additional store to ease the load of the main repository. Reliability and redundancy If a particular mirror has issues, you can switch to another one to ensure a reliable supply of software, guaranteeing you always have access to what you need. Enhanced customization. Mirror operators can customize their stores to cater to user preferences, offering more options like older versions of software that might not be available in the main store. Reduced bandwidth cost. With many mirror stores globally, there are numerous spots for everyone to access, leading to cost saving on delivery. Now, I will demonstrate several key points that you may need while configuring the mirror repository. To see all the mirror repository list, open your terminal and enter the command software dash properties dash gtk and hit on the enter button. Here you can see the Ubuntu software window and from the download from section, you can explore the available mirrors for your interest. Now to view the current mirror already working for you to download packages, run the command nano slash etc slash app slash sources dot list and hit enter. You can see my system's Ubuntu mirror is defined within my country Bangladesh using the country code BD. Sometimes you may need to change the repository mirror for various issues, and you can change it in both CLI and GUI methods. To change with CLI, open your terminal and run the previous command, but add sudo in the first. Now hit in the enter button, and you are allowed to edit the sources.list file. You can see that my system currently is different within the official Ubuntu BD archive mirror. Now to change it, you have to use a new URL. For that, you can use this website. From this website, you can copy the URL that you want to use. And I have mentioned the link in the description. So as I have copied the URL, I am minimizing this and I am replacing all the old mirror URLs with the new URL. but do not change the security URLs. Now, after changing all the URLs, press Ctrl plus S and then Ctrl plus X. Now to update the system, type sudo apt update. So my system is updating. After updation, to verify, run the command add dash app dash repository dash dash list and hit enter and you can see that the mirror repository is changed updated and working without any issues if you wish you can change the repository mirror using gui for that click on the show applications icon then go to software and updates in the ubuntu software window check the box of multiverse 
Now click on download from and then other. Here you can see the available repository mirrors based on different countries. From here select one repository mirror then click on choose server. Then close and reload. So it's done. Now let's verify. Again click on the show applications icon then software and updates and see the main server has changed to my selected server. You can also find the best repository mirror for that particular time in two ways, CLI and GUI. To find with CLI, you have to run this command. When you run this command, you might get one of two outputs, either the link you need or a command not found message. If you get the link, you are good to go. However, if you see comment not found, you will need to run some additional commands. Let's see what I get. Set, I got comment not found message. So let's solve it. So as app select is a Python script, at first I have to install the Python for that run the command sudo app install python 3 dash p. Providing my password, press Y to continue. As Python is installed, now let's install the app select. So run the command pip3 install app select and hit enter. So app select is also successfully installed. And look, there is a warning for me. The script apt select is installed in slash home slash kotha slash dot local slash bin, which is not on path. So I have to include this path. For that, at first copy this path. Now to open the bash file, type sudo nano tilde slash dot bash rc and hit enter. So the file is open. Now go to the last line. Now write path equal to double quote dollar sign again path colon and the copied path I am pasting it here and then again double quote. So let's save it with control S and exit with control X. So after saving the bashrc file you have to reboot your system. I have rebooted my system. So now let's check the path. Type equal dollar sign path. Hit enter. And look the new path is included. So now let's run the first command to find the best repository mirror. apt select dash dash country bd. Hit enter. And look I have found the best repository mirror for my system. Now you can add this mirror repository by following method 3. Click on the show applications icon, then go to software and updates. Now from the Ubuntu software window, click on the download from, then other. Here you can see select best server, click on this. And you can see the system has started testing. So look, the mirror.zenorbd.com is the best mirror server. So if you want to use this, select this, then click on choose server. You have to authenticate again. Now click on close, then reload. And yeah, it's done. Let's verify. Again, click on show applications icon, then software and updates. And look, my current mirror repository is zenorbd.com. That's all for it. I have covered everything from understanding what a mirror repository is to why it's crucial for a smooth software experience. Hope that you now know how to view available mirrors check your current setup and even change or find the best mirror using both command line and graphical methods. Thank you for watching.